In an early interview published with The Real Gully TV, here's the Christ details how the Trinidad boys, mainly Roy Cobb and Brandon Terrell, had begun leaning on Rayful Edmonds for illegal drugs, until one night when tempers boiled over at the Chapter 3 nightclub and one of Rayful Edmonds' goons had had enough. So, Big Ed Brandon, which was Roy Hitman at the time back then, they put the fight on Rayful Red, leaning on so the Trinidad guys was leaning on Rayford. Yeah, they was got to lean on everybody for real, but yeah, and Rayford oh, too. These, these particular guys was leaning on everybody. Yeah, we got some money doing something, yeah. Who was these, who was these niggas? Um, Trinidad niggas. I don't know if they still out there. I was informed that they don't want their names because they left their life alone. You know what I'm saying? I don't call their names. I know them. I see them. 80, 80s Trinidad niggas. That's right. 80s Trinidad. I think them niggas 80s Trinidad. That's right. All right. Right. So, um, Brandon leaning on Ray the rep. Ray get scared, put nut on him. Gave nut, like I think, I think five bricks to get Brandon. So nut went around Trinidad, gave him the five bricks. See me when you see me, do you? Probably three months went past. They seen Ray again. Give me Brandon, give me some shit, nigga. I gave you some shit, that was a Ray teller, Ray for the rat teller. Brandon, man, give me shit. The shit nut gave you, came from me. So Brandon like, man, fuck that shit, got all that shit, give me some more of that shit, that shit gone. So Ray would have told him nut. So the Ray told him nut. Ray was in his feelings. Right. No, nut was in his feelings. So the particular night down the chapter, you had Ray and all his guys, you had the Trinidad, Roy and all the Trinidad niggas. So they changed words out before they went in the chapter. Ray and went in the chapter. So nut came up so like, these bitch ass niggas, I'm gonna smash these niggas. He was telling my nigga Dre that and me. So um, time went on that night. When Ray came out the chapter, Roy pulled Ray up and was talking to Roy. Roy pulled Ray for the Red up and was talking to Ray for the Red, leaning on this, that, and that. So Brandon came up and was like, man, what's up, man? Man, give me some of that shit, this, that, and that, wah, 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 So when Brandon came up, Nut came up to watch Ray back. Mm-hmm. Brandon would say some shit like, man, chill out, Nut, you ain't got to do with this little Nut, man, chill out. Nut took off, got his gun, bam, smashed him. In a separate interview done with the Info Minds YouTube channel, Ears shares a story with similar factors about himself and Shorty Pop, yet he insists that it isn't the same thing. I guess circumstances truly dictate situations in some cases. Let's take a look. So, you know, I finally called Shorty Pop probably a week later, met up with him. Now, I ain't on no bullshit, fuck myself. Like I said, so I ain't tripping over that. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, I gave him a deuce. And go ahead and do you, nigga. You got some money. Man, he ain't got no money or nothing. I gave him $500 or a stock or something. Gave that shit to him. He rolled out. So I said, this is what I'm going to do. We just came on. Every time I get some shit and whip it up, I'm going to add you to the list of the niggas I got that just come about to come home and come home. I got you. So I did that shit like three different times. That was it. So the last shit I gave him, I'm like, Slim, I'm going to give you this deuce. From here on out, you got to bring the Southeast niggas to me or you got to hustle that shit and come and buy from here on out. He's like, all right, bet. So of course... They try to get some guns from me, but I'll never get niggas guns. It'll be the same gun you give a nigga they use against you, so I'll give niggas no gun. He kept asking for guns. I ain't got no guns. I got the guns I got. I need. I can't give you no gun. So after that, I ain't hear from him for a minute. So I'm like, I ain't, I ain't tripping. I ain't my long. That shit was extra shit I whipped up anyway. I ain't tripping. So I get a call one day from him saying, buy me a car. All right, peace, peace, peace. You already know what you're wearing and who you're rocking with, right? So let's get to it then. Look, to all, to everybody that's watching, salute. I appreciate you, feel me? Whether it's hate or love. But some of the haters, some of you haters, let me holler at you for a quick 30 seconds to two minutes. Look, especially to Tina Smith. What up, though, Tina Smith? Let me holler at you real quick, young lady. Thank you for your concern. I mean, you left the comment saying that, that you know, things may go left. For me, if I continue down this path with uh, Ears to Christ and other DC associates, and I, I really appreciate your concern, but I'm willing to take whatever comes with this. You feel me? So, 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 so you can you 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 can tell them folks who who you heard may have heard whatever you heard from. Oh, all is well his way. That means do what you're gonna do. Me. You feel me? For those associates of yours, you may or may not have 
with your concern about my well-being. For you dudes that wonder why I'm doing what I'm doing, X is the same, man. Ask him why did he take the stage a month ago on WAC 100's clubhouse, the hunter side, and talk about Poe. I got a comment talking about why is he talking about Poe? He dead, DC or nothing. Well, if it's DC or nothing, then why is ear still talking about Poe just a month ago? Why you in DC politics is another comment that I got. Ask Eon why he talking about Big Meet Your Rat. Why he in Detroit politics? See, this is what I'm saying, homeboy. Uh, 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 I guess what I'm saying is it's a free country and I do what I want. I'm going to talk about what I want and who I want. And I don't think nobody's going to be able to stop me from doing that. You know what I'm saying? Now, in saying that, let's talk about how Ears was talking about Brandon Terrell was leaning on Rayful for Roy Cobb. Let's get to that, man, because these stories have similar facets. They got moving factors that match each other. They're equivalent. But Ears is saying that one is extortion and, and one is generosity. I don't see it that way, homeboy. Cut it out, man. Who you trying to fool? We all know Shorty Pop's reputation. Dog was the devil. <laughs> I got a comment in my uh, uh, YouTube studios that said, I don't know why them dudes lying on Pop. He was the devil from day one. He was King Von before Von was invented. Dig this here, homeboy. We knew the game for him was robbery, extortion, and, and homicide. The only game, the only one of them plays you fit into is robbery because you're still alive, so you don't fit into the homicide. You feel me? Extortion. You fit into that category too. You know what I mean? It's no way he steals on you. You listen, listen, listen to the story you told, man. Anybody, t somebody, tell me if I'm telling this wrong. He says he was at the classics and some dudes he was serving from, I guess, the east side or whatever side, because pop from southeast or something like that. So he said. Uh, he was serving some dudes and, and, and you know Pop got in tour with them and he went to help him and Pop punched him in the face Pop off on him, he laughed about it <laughs> it's funny not, nah, nah, it ain't funny at all homeboy, I remember everybody that ever put their hands on me and if I didn't get them back I will but it ain't about me, it's about you it was funny that Pop put his hands on you for jumping in that with them dudes and not only did that happen, he got in touch with Tank and told Tank what happened and Tank yelled at you for getting punched in the face how that work? I don't understand it, man. Stay in your place is what he told you, young dog. See, that's how we know you wasn't his partner again. You was a young fella. Stay in your place, young dog. What is you doing, man? I ain't got nothing to do with you. Don't get involved in this. You're going you gonna to get me in tool with them. I got to live here <laughs> on that day day stuff. You feel that? That's that Friday. You, you get in tool with them, and I got, to, I got to live here, dog. Stay in your place, young fella. You feel me? Just going to take this package to the skate room like I told you, man, and come home, man. Stop doing all the extra stuff, you feel me? We can't afford to draw no attention to it. You know, I know how Tank was talking to you. But anyway, 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 that happens. And after that happens, you see him and feel sorry for him because of all the BS he did, like punching you in the face at Classics and robbing other dudes and running off on other dudes and shooting people. And nobody's going to mess with him because of his evil ways but you. Even after being punched in the head. Nobody is going to mess with him but you. You're going to take his number, shorty, and you're going to call too because you wouldn't take his number if you wasn't going to do. That's what you said. Hmm? You just be whipping up because Dre, Dre left his morals and, and ideology with you. So, you know, you're just going give to give away work to certain individuals so their neighborhoods can cop from you through that individual. Did that work with shorty pop? How many 62s you give him? How many deuces? How many deuces you sent off through him and he ain't come back with nothing but his hand out again and you put something in it, put something in it, put something in it, up until the point where I guess he wanted a pistol because you knew he had turned it on you, like you said. So you must have gave him something because how he go from wanting some guns from you and you not giving him guns to move and upgrade that to a car like I need a Cadillac, dog. Hey, 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 hey what's up, dog? I need you to buy this Cadillac, homie. <laughs> That's weird, but it's not extortion, it's generosity, right? He was taking advantage of your generosity. Huh? But what Brandon did to Rafa on behalf of Roy Cobb was not 
He didn't take advantage of his generosity because he gave him the five bricks and he ain't paying back and he expected more. Hmm. So and he didn't take advantage of your generosity because you gave him that deuce and he came back and didn't pay you nothing, didn't bring them southeast dudes with him or nothing like that, but expected more. So one can't be the other and the other without the other being the same thing, homeboy. So which one is it? Extortion or generosity? Because if, if you was genero being generous, then that means Rafa was too. So if Rafa was getting extorted, then that means you was too, man. You feel me? Cut it out, man. I man, you know. DC or nothing, right? So I understand what y'all gonna say. Y'all gonna say I'm hating. I don't care. I don't care. Dog contradicts himself often, dog. And I'm gonna pull him apart. As long as he fixes his tongue to speak about Poe, when there ain't no reason to. You feel me? It's no reason. It was no reason for him to join that clubhouse and do what he did. You feel me? That that was crazy, dog. So since you did that, I'm gonna look over the things that you done. And we're gonna discuss that. In the open and put it up for debate. But until the next debate, all I got to say is this peace to the gods and herbs. Until we meet again, I'll be back. <laughs>